All right, talking about some showers in the neighborhood. Now we've had some downpours of rain here in Rochester in just the past few minutes. Now we're back to at least some sunshine. As the sun is slowly reemerging uh, from the west, and we'll be back at the full sun. That'll help us reach the 80s here in, in no time. But for the time being, we've cooled to the 60s officially in Rochester. Here's a the look at the last couple of hours. Here's our Lewis Dodato camera. Watch the showers slowly build in. The sun has given way to grayness, and then a big downpour, a deluge, uh, as that rain sweeps into the area for the south and west. Just for a few minutes there. Just long enough to give us a quick inch, a quarter inch of rain. That is a quick quarter inch of rain here at the studio. A little more than that to the west. Uh, radar estimates suggesting a little more than half an inch of rain uh, fell in about a half hour of time west of Highway 52 in the northwest side of Rochester. Of course, I mentioned earlier that both Nick Jansen, our chief meteorologist, and Sarah Gannon dealt with the rain. They were out and about uh, letting me know uh, what was going on where they were. And they had ponding on the roads. They had to pull over. They had traffic slowing down. Uh, and they had uh, all sorts of... Uh, water in the streets and in their lawns. So it's been a wet situation just in recent memory. Rochester 60s with rain everywhere else. It's sunshine and a whole lot warmer. So it depends on where you are. That's what you're dealing with. One or the other rain or sun. And we have a little shower moving through Orinoco as if a compact little area of downpour of rain is moving in from Orinoco up toward Mazeppa here in the next to half hour or so slowly showing, showing signs of weakening. There has been a little lightning noted with this, but not very much, not a severe cell, but be prepared for downpour of rain. Center of low pressure to the west, another one to the north. These are generating showers in between. We'll be in and out of these small pockets of isolated activity for today. We had that one same cell in North Iowa overnight from about 4 to 7 o'clock this morning, just east of Mason City's airport. Two and a half inches of rain. Uh, Bruce from Clear Lake said he had nothing in the rain gauge, but he had a friend call from just east of Mason City's airport and had two and a half inches of rain in three hours' time. That's a, a, a blessing for those who need it. A lot of North Iowa Iowa, very dry, just like parts of southern Minnesota. We had a high of 87 yesterday because of the rain cooling conditions here in the last couple of hours. We won't like it, make it likely make it that warm. I still think we'll see the low 80s later on. 68 in Rochester at the airport, 73 in Preston, where it's not raining or hasn't been raining. It's a whole lot warmer. Owatonna, for instance, 84. It's 86 in Charles City. Mesa City has made it back up to 81. Showers falling in the Bed City at the airport, uh, dew point 65. By far the most humid uh, conditions we've had so far this season. 65, the highest dew point we've had so far. Temperature is very warm in uh, summer life. Fargo, 86. It's 83 in Lincoln. And uh, the dew points in the 60s. That humidity streaming north through the uh, fueling these rain chances. Isolated storms still possible. Some breaks of sunshine. 84, the expected high temperature. Uh, 845, the uh, sunset today. 60s tonight. Shower chances fade away by sunset. Tomorrow, another dose of afternoon isolated cells. We are looking at maybe a slightly better chance for most of us at least see a chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. But just a handful of those developing this afternoon uh, fading away by evening. Tomorrow, sunshine at first. Then we see those thunderstorms pop up, blossoming in the heating of the daytime sun. Just an instability for some thunder. Not severe, though. And then on Friday, a few more thunderstorms. Slightly more widespread rain chance. So if you're hoping for rain, chances get better. Uh, but if you're hoping for sun, we'll have that at times as well. The weekend looking a little sunnier with some very small rain chances. Uh, rainfall of mounts over the next three days or so up to an inch, but it could be higher in some of those heavier downpours. There's always a possibility this time of the year. High temperatures today in the 80s. Austin 89, Rochester 84, 88 Mason City with isolated storms and some sun and a slight south breeze. Tomorrow, look for a little more of a southeast breeze, a few extra showers, it breaks of sunshine and still some warm conditions. 86 Rochester, 87 in Austin. And again, looking at that rainfall, uh, really picking up over the next few days, uh, very sparse activity this weekend though. But rain between now and then, a possibility at times, uh, any given location. Temperatures are quite warm for this time of the year. A lot of 80s in the coming days, all above average for at least the next week to 10 days. 84 today, some sun and some isolated showers, perhaps another rumble of thunder or two. 63, some evening storms until just around sunset tonight. And tomorrow, 86, still a chance of mainly afternoon thunderstorms. Seven-day forecast looking uh, warm and fairly unsettled. Now, there are rain chances each day. For the most part, through Tuesday anyway, but some much better than others. And it does look like at least if you're hoping for a drink of water for your lawn or your, your, your farm field, or your garden, there's a chance any given day. There's a chance and it won't be a rain out. That's true. Thank you, Ted.